Hello again. Um, here's how I make um, electric torches in primary schools. Um, I do this activity uh, with Year 4 Plus. Um, when you're working with a whole class, uh, cost is obviously an, an issue. Um, uh, this whole design, uh, each torch works out at around about a pound each. Um, I make the torch body out of a piece of A4 card. And the first thing we need to do is to put some sticky tape down one of the short sides of the A4 card and stick, stick it on half on and half off. We then put it back down on the table with the sticky side upwards and I'm going to roll a tube using a piece of uh, plastic pipe. This is a um, 20 millimeter diameter plastic pipe. Uh, I think it's um, electric uh, electrical conduit and it's um, readily available at your local DIY store. Um, it's very cheap and I, I have a class set of these that I've been using for, for several years now. You do have to have fairly strong fingers. This is quite thick card. Um, once you get it tucked in, you need to keep up the pressure otherwise it will just unwind. You could make it a little bit easier perhaps by using uh, the thinner card. Don't worry if the pupils um, don't make quite such a neat job. As long as they've got some kind of tube it will be fine. Then when we get to the sellotape, we run over the sellotape, it should automatically stick. And then I run my thumb along to make sure that it's really stuck down firmly. Pull out the plastic tube, and if you've got any sellotape left over at the end, tuck it in to make a really uh, robust, strong uh, tube for your torch. Um, next thing we're going to do, we need to make two holes at one end. Now, um, I don't like to use any kind of special tools or special equipment in primary schools, but um, uh, because it's thick card, you really do need um, a hole punch to make these holes. Um, I'm going to make one hole about two centimetres down from the end, and another hole roughly about one centimetre from the end. So I've just made two holes there. Um, next, we're going to uh, pass a, a wire, just, just a length of um, ordinary wire that I've stripped the ends and we're going to pass that up through the tube and to stop it escaping we're just going to temporarily fold over the ends like that. Um, next thing we're going to do is to start to uh, assemble the circuit uh, this is going to be, uh, it's going to have two AA batteries, so it's a 3 volt uh, torch, 3 volt circuit, and I'm going to be using um, single AA battery holders. Um, I always have to keep an eye on the pupils to make sure that they've put the batteries in the right way around. There is a little picture inside that's showing which way to put the batteries. And then we join these together, um, we join the red wire of one to the black wire of the other. So we cross the bared ends over. Um, I've st stripped the ends of these with a, with a wire stripper and um, I have these already done before I arrive to save time. And then we twist these wires together like that. And now we can uh, thread these two battery holders inside the tube. It doesn't matter which end goes in first. It could be the uh, negative end or the positive end bulbs don't care which way around they're connected. Pass that through, tuck it down into the tube, you could use a pencil to help you to poke that down. Tuck in the wires, there we go. Follow it up with the other battery holder, tuck that down, again use the pencil. So you should end up with two wires coming out of one end and two wires at the other end. Now the end with the, t with the holes is going to be the uh, switch end of the torch. So we're going to put the, the bulb at the other end. Um, I'm using a, uh, a two and a half volt uh, MES bulb. Uh, it's being slightly overrun with three volts but um, not enough to blow it and it makes sure it's nice and bright. And we're going to use a bulb holder. This is called an MES bulb holder. So that's screwed in. Make sure it's screwed in all the way. Then get a screwdriver and undo the screws anti-clockwise about, about four times so that you can see underneath the uh, head of the screw. We then get one of the wires and pass it up through 
the hole in the bulb holder. Can you see that? Pass it up through the hole. Then take it over to the screw on the right hand side and then underneath the head of the screw wrap it around the head in a clockwise direction. So I've gone round that way. Why? Because when we do the screw up the wire will stay on. If you wrap it around anti-clockwise annoyingly the wire tends to fall off as you do the screw up. Using a screwdriver is quite tricky but for year four, particularly if they haven't used it before. So this is the part that, that takes the most time. Again the other wire up through the hole first over to the other screw head, wrap it underneath the screw head in a clockwise direction and do that screw up as tight as you can. Um, at this point we can check to see if the torch is, is working. If we just um, touch these two wires together here hopefully we'll see the bulb come on. Yes that's working, that's working fine. So when I touch those two wires together the bulb should come on. That's fine. Um, we're now going to um, fix this bulb holder down at the end here. Um, this is a very simple design. It's not going to win any prizes for looks. I'm just going to wrap some sellotape around here. You could use uh, insulating tape to make it look a bit better. There's plenty of potential for customising the torch. You could think about uh, putting something transparent over the end to protect the bulb. Perhaps make some kind of re uh, reflector out of a aluminium cupcake dish or some cooking foil. I'm just going to leave it bare. So we just double check that we haven't upset anything, that it's still working. Yep, that's still working fine. We're gonna, finally we're going to uh, make um, a switch uh, to turn it off and on. And it's going to be a switch that you have to hold on to save the batteries. We get one of the paper fasteners and one of the wires and pass the wire th through the legs. There's a hole at the bottom of the paper fastener. Pass it through there and wrap it round and if you've got enough wire wrap it round again so that it's securely fixed onto the paper fastener. There we are. We're now going to pass that up through the furthermost hole. And there we go. And bend the legs over like that. So that's the first paper fastener fixed. We're now going to do the other wire. Uh, this happens to be the battery wire, so it's made of lots of individual strands. So we're going to tidy these up by twisting them together. Get the second paper fastener again between the legs of the paper fastener. Wrap it round a few times. To make sure it's really fixed on securely. And then pass that up through the other hole in the torch. And bend those legs over and tuck any wire in that you've got left. So you've got the two paper fasteners there and uh, the way this is going to work we're going to use one leg of the top paper fastener as a switch and when they come together it should make the torch make the torch light up. There we are. So when you press the paper fastener it makes it light up. Um, we could finish it off make it a bit more reliable by sticking um, these uh, unused legs of the paper faster down. Make sure you don't cover up the, the working part of the switch. I can cover that paper fastener up with some sticky tape and then I'm going to cover that end and that end up but I'm going to leave the middle part of this one bare so that the um, switch still works. So one piece of stellar tape can go along there. There we are. And a final piece of sellotape and cover up that part there, tuck it in so that we've left the, this part of the paper fastener bare so that when we bring it down it completes the circuit and makes the torch light up. There we go. So that's our finished electric torch. I hope you enjoy making it.